Cog mains, the day has finally come. It feels like almost every vote this hero has been in there and lost, but not today. Today is your day, as you laugh at those glad mains in the comments that you beat them to the punch. This feels better than full guarding external heavies for you guys, so I hope you all enjoy. And don't forget, a lot of you aren't actually subbed. It would actually mean a lot to me if you guys hit that button. We're on the race to 5k before August, and we're getting really close. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy another video. See, there's two types of conks that run default. There's obviously the new player who saw the loved default emote and said, Oh yeah, I'm going to spend that on people because it's funny. Or you're that conk that never actually changes armor. Ever. Rip 1, 5, 8, 10, 70. You get it. These guys never change their armor, but most likely change their armor material. Coming from my friend who's rep 28 on conk, I asked him why he never actually switched his armor and he responded with, Enjoy it. Hey, let, let me, let me, we're going to do script cons on Joy, okay? Script the content, uh, holy shit. Joey, why don't you change your conk armor? Because, uh, I mean, look, he's literally me. You're retarded. What the fuck that means? I have no clue. Okay, so you're probably asking me, but why are you pairing all three of these helmets? You've never done that before in a video. And let me ask you a question. Did you even know these helmets existed? No, exactly. Because anyone that's passed rep 2 isn't using these pieces of garbage. I mean, like, I didn't even know the focal helmet even existed until I saw it. And I have 3,600 hours in the game. You love stone. No, not the rocks, even though you probably like eating them. You cosplay the conk in the campaign. But even though you love him, you've never actually been able to fully embrace him, just like Warden Mains with Domini, because not only his arms, but the ornament he wears in the campaign does not even exist in the cosmetic tabs. So even though you cosplay stone, nobody other than you knows you're cosplaying stone. Without his arms or ornament, it just doesn't look like him. You've never forgiven Ubisoft for this horde atrocity, so every lobby you enter, you bash spam everyone to get your anger out. You probably saw this as new armor, and you put it on because this replaced your old helmet with lower armor material. But once you hit rep 3, you discard this and never looked back. These people are never good teammates and will dodge bash everything on red because they're at such a low rep, this works all the time. But if these guys are on your team, they're 100% feeding revenge because they didn't even know the fame button even existed until now. Oh, you're so emo that you literally wanted your character to have multiple piercings in his armor, like nose piercings. You blast Lincoln Park because you bash ban people consistently. In fact, you bash ban so much you forgot that Conk even could use light attacks from neutral. Nobody likes looking at you. Literally every person on your team tries to avoid you so they don't have to look at you. Wear whatever you call that. You're getting up in the reps, but you don't really like instigating in fights. Most of the time you're trying to bait out some sort of bad option to punish with a bash or a full block stance. I'm not gonna lie, your playstyle is not fun, and I think you know that deep down. You also like the chainmail pattern on the neck and put as much chainmail in your fashion as physically possible. This can definitely be classified as one of first conk edgy style helmets, but I wouldn't fit it to only edge. The way the conk looks with this on always makes him look angry, mainly because the eye slits in the head are a busy figure. You love spikes and tie this to as many spikes as possible, even buying the crown of thorns ornament, but never actually using the effect that comes with it, because it's just really fucking dog shit, I don't know. <laughs> If having an overbite was a helmet, this would be it. I don't know, man. This helmet just looks really stupid. But you never wanted to admit that. You try so, so hard to make this work. Just like how you try to full block lights on prediction and just eat a bash or a guard break instead. This helmet's kind of underrated, I feel. You like this helmet not because it's a bucket helmet, but you like it because the chin armor on it is actually pretty cool. And you love the jail cell type eye holes. You most likely pair this with some, some sort of silver or red and go full black iron with it. These conks are starting to get the hang of full blocking team fights to catch external heavies, but get mad that Black Prior just has a blatant upgrade to what conk full block is. You are 15 years old. Maximum. You most likely have king or lord in your gamer tag somewhere and you love black iron. You're some edgelord kid who think the world is out to get him when he sees one of his teammates lock in Peacekeeper. You're running some sort of crown ornament being either crown of thorns, crown of demise, or if you really want to be a true fucking edgelord, you run the king of death and think you're cool because of the name. You have an extremely small temper and leave any game that you start to lose. You most likely flame your teammates in game chat, but in reality, you're just really making yourself look stupid. Stop doing that. 
Silver is your favorite arm material and you use this helmet because you really like how the eye holes look and that's it. Even though this helmet isn't really up there with the Kong's meta fashion uh, helmets, you still try to make it work as much as you can. You've been hoping that every Warriors then that Kong gets a new variation of this helmet in a different style, maybe with a cleaner top or some gold engravings. But after watching through it all and not seeing anything, you just get disappointed yet again. You're a fan of the Prison Guard helmet, but you also play a lot of Warden and religiously play the Fendril helmet. So you made this conch and tried to copy your Warden fashion as much as possible. These guys love the in-chain bash paint because it reminds them a lot of Warden's mid-chain bash. And I gotta respect it, but a lot of conks try to utilize this move and go full helicopter instead. These guys are like the jack of all trades conks, and no, not because I run this helmet. Some are edgy, some are crusaders, paladins, the whole shebang. These guys are super annoying though because they realize how good minion lane is in Dominion and farm this any chance they get. Most of the time when you're playing against these guys, mid is somehow always pushed into their spawn because these guys are running full heal build and they're afk farming minions the entire game. These guys love gold trim armor and just hit rep 7, and this is the first gold trim armor they got. In reality, they're most likely waiting to get another gold trim helmet, but they gotta deal with this one for the time being. These guys are normally extremely aggressive in playstyle. They try to use lights, but the second they get parried once, that light will never come out again. I feel like you're just kind of trying too hard, or you're waiting to get the Electo Helm, but you got this one first. But seriously, you're trying way too hard to look edgy. You're putting spikes on everything, being armor and helmet, and you found a skull embossing, or you made a Punisher emblem and put it on your arms and chest. Just, just stop. It doesn't look good. This is an okay helmet, but it's never used as often. These guys tend to use some sort of red armor color because the gold really accents the red the best. This helmet also really goes well with most other gold trimmed armors very, very well. These guys, I would say, are the fashionistas of conk mains, spending most of their hours trying to find combos with the helmet instead of actually trying to learn how to use their superior dodges. Yes, they exist. These guys always go with the crown of thorns ornament and go for some green paladin look, mostly running silver armor material and full silver weapons. These guys love basic fashion styles, because to them, fashion is just a secondary to actual skill. These guys tend to stay in the defensive more on the offensive, but the most annoying part is their defensive, their defense is very, very hard to actually break. When these guys are on your team, you cheer, but when they aren't, you avoid them at all costs. If they're on A, you're going to C. you really wanted a skull helmet but just don't like how Kong's face looks in all the other helmets. So this was the perfect middle ground. You realize that black iron really doesn't match it well with this helmet and you decide to go with more colorful options like gold or marigold. These guys love to be up in your face and try to make it hard for you to react to anything. These guys started to learn about full blocking out their missed bashes to punish dodge attacks. They also stay mostly quiet as they stay up in the top of the leaderboard every game, but the second the game ends, expect to hear Rah! every half a second when they win. You love pasting embossings on every piece of your armor and try to match it with the helmet's brim. You know this helmet is underused and it's a real shame because it's actually a really good helmet, but it doesn't work with anything other than really white iron because the really cool silver pieces of the metal on the face just don't mix it well with anything else. You really like your full block so much that most of the time you die because you tried to full block after a missed bash and eat a guard break and die. You are an extremely toxic conk player. It doesn't matter who your enemy is playing or even if they played well or poorly. After every kill, you're putting something in quick chat like thanks or sorry, sorry, sorry. But at the end of the day, once you start to lose, you turn the game off because you couldn't handle the karma coming back to bite you in the face. You think yourself some team leader or commander of the team. You're one of those guys that spam team objectives in Dominion and spam shield banner and guardian spawns one minute before they spawn. You're also a light spammer at heart for sure. Most of the time you accidentally throw a light from the same direction doing that really, really slow light attack and look really dumb zooming so. Even more dumb, you go on the Reddit and complain with a five paragraph essay on why they should have removed it in the first place. You wanted to run full default but couldn't handle the damage, look it has. You don't really run any effects or ornaments and keep it real nice and simple. Your gameplay also follows the same style, simple, yet effective. Most of your time is spent throwing unblockables widely into team fights, trying to externalize as much people as possible until you eventually get dodge attacked so you can full block it and the cycle will always continue. You 
you are a furry. Okay, okay. I'm joking. At least. I'm, I hope I'm not right about this one because this one's actually a really nice helmet and I'd like to run in and not be a furry. These guys are the fashion over skill players. Gold trims with how clean this armor is really makes it a lot to be paired with almost everything. These guys are solid players when they eventually queue up after 10 hours of the customization session. If you compliment them in any way, they will stick to you making sure that you never actually lose another gank again. Yeah. You were an old school conk player back when he was literally just only a bash. You 100% made a reddit post saying bring back conk full block on his own or I'm gonna kill myself. You're way more defensive than offensive just because you could actually never abandon your old conqueror playstyle. Alright, as always, I hope you guys enjoy cock mains. I'm sorry this took so long, but hey, at least you guys aren't glad mains. They're still waiting. Anyways, let me know who should be covered next when I put out the new poll a day after this video comes out. And if you don't want to miss it, remember, subscribing is free and keeps you on the loop of what I release. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.